Hey guys, if you are looking for some new audience targeting options to make your Facebook and Instagram ads more effective, well stay tuned because I'm gonna break into audience overlapping, audience segmentation, and how to make sure you are targeting the correct people to purchase your products, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, Savage Man Grooming, and working on a few other brands. So Facebook ads has been a pillar in growing my businesses. And with everything that's happened over the last few years with privacy issues and targeting and lack of attribution, we've been really working hard at my agency to figure out how to make Facebook and Instagram ads more effective. And this is what we've found so far halfway through 2022. So when it comes to being effective, what we're finding is because Facebook's targeting is so weird now with 93% of people opting out of targeting, we need to find how to be better effective at targeting while these people are on the platform. So the first thing that we're gonna get into is audience segmentation. So what is audience segmentation? Essentially, it's when we have two different audiences. Imagine we're running an ad group that has two distinct audiences. We are targeting women ages 25 to 44. So, right off the bat, 25 to 44. And on this side, again, 25 to 44. But the problem is, we're going to be taking out either custom audiences, lookalike audiences, or interest audiences to find exactly who we're talking about within that 25 to 44. So first step, let's say we want Kim Kardashian. Over here, we want Chloe Kardashian. Here's what's gonna happen, is this audience in the middle is gonna now start to get closer together and there's gonna be an overlap because the same people are being targeted even though they're two separate ad groups. So we try to figure out where in that middle is the audience overlap. So luckily for you, there's a Facebook tool within Business Manager that a lot of people don't know about that we're gonna get into right now. So when you're in the Facebook Business Manager, click the little hamburger menu on the top left and we're gonna go to audiences. So before you get into this, make sure that you have either your interest audiences, your lookalike audiences, or your custom audiences saved into Facebook because without having them saved, you're not able to actually compare them to determine how much of an overlap is occurring. So I'm gonna take out five, which is the total amount of audiences you can compare. If you're running single audience ad sets, well then just compare the two or three within the certain campaign. But for the essence of this, to show you guys, we're gonna do all five. So what we're finding is because Facebook is taking the reins of kind of showing ads to a bunch of people based on people opting out of the targeting, is that this segmentation is super important to be aware of because you're competing with yourself on the newsfeed, marketplace, the real stories, wherever your ad placements are, and the overlap is causing CPMs to increase and your effectiveness to go down. So what do we do? Well, before I get into what do we do, you actually hit that like button because I like it and YouTube likes it and that makes me wanna create more content for you guys and that's what I'm here for. So smash the like button, subscribe, get notified and let's get into how to segment audiences to reduce the overlap. So as you'll see, we're in the Blue Water Marketing account. I'm creating a new campaign just as a test campaign with our naming convention, which if you're wondering how to name your ads most effectively so you know who you're segmenting out, click this video right up here where I break into our naming convention that makes things so much easier to organize, structure, test, and then optimize. So test campaign, add test. Now here's where the beauty starts to happen. We're gonna skip over the test campaign because none of this really matters in the essence of this video. For your ad set, we are going to select our pixel. Of course, we know exactly what's happening. We want leads. For an e-commerce brand, you're gonna follow the exact steps that I'm outlining here because again, the conversion rate does not matter in the essence of this video. 
I'm gonna do our budget. Now here's where things get interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this section, custom audiences. We wanna be doing look like three to 5% of the, anybody who's been on our social media page in the last 90 days. But where we wanna go is then we want to exclude that one to 3% audience. So of course, potential reach, all these different things aren't gonna appear based on Facebook's crazy algorithm and updates that they seem to be doing every single day. But what this is gonna do is it's going to take that three to 5% and exclude that little bit of audience overlap that we're finding on the one to 3%. And the reason we're doing that is because I wanna know which audiences are gonna be most effective. So if I'm using everything, I don't know which one's working. If I'm segmenting out these audiences, I have more control. I can see the CPMs. I can see the cost per clicks, cost per conversion. I can see these and have more control over which ones I want to scale. And if you're wondering about scaling, click this video where I break down our most effective scaling hacks for Facebook ads in 2022. So the goal is to have audience number one, audience number two. We want to make sure that this section right here in the middle does not occur. And that's where segmenting out these audiences become really important, especially right now where things are really weird and still evolving with Facebook and the lack of tracking. Now, I will say the one caveat to all of this is the fact that because audience sizes have decreased, which I'm sure you've been able to see within your audience manager, that all of a sudden a 13 million person audience is only an 8 million person audience, you still may want to combine some of your most successful audiences. So with that, you're going to do the same exact process in going through and looking at which ones of them are overlapping. You want to combine the ones that have the least amount of overlap to ensure that you're still segmenting out these audiences. There's always going to be a slight level of overlap, but as long as you're less than like that 5%, you're only talking a couple hundred thousand people. It's not going to skew your results and it's not going to impede on the ability to scale. So start going through this look at your audiences, figure out the overlap, and then separate them out by segmenting and excluding the ones with the most amount of overlap. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about how overlap happens, where these people are coming from, the most successful audiences, custom audiences, interests, demographics, whatever those may be, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for more ideas for content for you guys. So ask away and I'll make a video for you. I hope you enjoyed. I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.